Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to your safe space. I'm glad you're here. In this video, I want to make you feel more secure. I want to strengthen your relationship with God, or at least move you closer to God and deepen your faith. I want to talk specifically about BPD, Borderline Personality Disorder. Now, before you turn off the video, you may not have this, but the symptoms may sound like something that you're struggling with. My disclaimer is that I'm not a doctor and I do not give medical advice. I do not diagnose anyone. If you feel the need for medical attention, please call the appropriate hotline or doctor's office and seek professional help. As a pastor, I give spiritual help. Having said that, Borderline personality disorder, as you may know, is a mental illness that impacts a person's ability to manage their emotions, their feelings. And this loss of emotional control can increase impulsive behavior and affect how a person feels about themselves and negatively impact their relationships. Separations, disagreements, being broken up with, Rejections, both real or perceived, are the most common triggers for symptoms. And a person with BBT is highly sensitive to abandonment and being alone, which brings about intense feelings of anger, fear, anxiety, self-harm, and very impulsive decisions. Now, I see myself in a lot of that, even though I have not been diagnosed with BPD. Perhaps you see yourself in some of that right there. If that's you, then what I want to do is reinforce and strengthen your relationship with God. There is a loving God who loves you very much. You are never alone. I want to encourage you to have a relationship with God. If you do already, I want you to strengthen that relationship with God. Because having a spirituality, having a spiritual connection to God, source, whatever word perhaps that you use for God, it can't just cure or take away a mental illness or personality disorder, but it can, it can certainly help you. It can be an anchor for your boat. It can help you navigate your emotions. Having a deep spirituality can help you regulate your emotions, feel more calm, feel more centered and secure, even if your emotions are becoming chaotic and you're triggered by separations or rejections or disagreements. The Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39 in the NIV, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So nothing can ever separate you from God's love. Nothing. Not your chaotic thoughts, not your intense anxiety, not dropping the, the occasional F-bombs. Nothing can nothing in all creation can separate you from Jesus and his love. That's what it says right there. And I love Romans 8, verses 38 and 39 in the Passion Translation. It reads, There is nothing in our present or future circumstances that can weaken his love. Nothing. There is no power above us or beneath us. No power that could ever be found in the universe that could distance us from God's passionate love which is lavished upon us through our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One. Now catch that. There is nothing in your present life right now that can separate you from God's love. There is nothing in your future circumstances that can weaken His love. I love that. It's like this. On a scale of 1 to 5, 
five being the strongest and one being the, weak, the, the lowest number, God's love for you is a 10. God's love for you is a 10 right now, today, in your life. God's love for you tomorrow is a 10. If you're scrolling on your Instagram or TikTok at 2 or 3 a.m., and you're perhaps looking at things that are not really Christian, God's love for you is still a 10. Now, he won't save you from the consequences of sinful decisions, but his love for you will never end. There is nothing that can weaken his love. There is no power. There, there is nothing that can distance you from God. Imagine your black coffee in your coffee cup. You pour creamer in that coffee. You stir the creamer in. What color is it? It's kind of a tan, light brown, right? At that point, are you able to separate your creamer from your coffee? Nope, it's all in there like this. And that is you and Jesus, always, every day, on your worst days, on your best days. In Romans, it says, while we, you and I, were still sinners, liars, thieves, immoral, Christ died for us. Christ died for the ungodly. I'm ungodly sometimes. How about you? Sometimes, yes, you confess. Well, I have good news. There is nothing that can separate you from God's love. God's love for you is a 10 every single day, every single night, wherever you are, whatever you think, however you feel, whatever you do, whatever you say, God's love for you is always a 10. There is nothing that can separate you from God's love in Christ. Just to drive the point home further, Romans 8, 38 and 39 in the Message Bible, it reads, I am absolutely convinced that nothing, nothing living or dead, angelic or demonic, today or tomorrow, high or low, thinkable or unthinkable, absolutely nothing can get between us and God's love because of the way that Jesus, our Lord, has embraced us. You are embraced by God's grace. He's holding you every day. As the Apostle Paul said in Acts, in God we live and move and have our being. I encourage you to read and reread Romans 8, 38, and 39 in your Bible and various Bible translations online. But I hope that you're able to feel more secure, more stable when your emotions become chaotic, when somebody rejects you, when somebody puts you down, criticizes you, makes you feel demeaned, belittled, when somebody rejects you, breaks up with you. You might feel alone. You're never alone. You feel lonely, but you're not alone. God is always with you. He is crazy in love with you. Jesus is the only one who left perfect paradise to come here. And why? Just because he wanted to have a relationship with you and me and all of us. And I'm not sure I have BPD, but I have the symptoms for sure. I know how it feels to have the intense anger and anxiety and fear when I'm rejected, demeaned, belittled, and people walk away from me. So I want you to know that God always has your back. He's always with you. I can't guarantee that you will always get exactly what you pray for, but he is your father. He is your friend. He is your shepherd. He is your Lord and Savior. Call out to him. Pray. Develop a deep faith, a deep spirituality, and you will be secure. You will have an anchor for your soul when your emotions become chaotic. Thank you for watching. God bless. Keep the faith and love your life.